Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the top of the Golden Triangle. This is old Red Ray coming to you in today. I got a 35 wheeling barrel right here. We got a thread to put us a muzzle brake on there. So uh, let's see how that's gonna turn out for today. Anytime I do a barrel or something like that, I wanna make sure I'm between center so I know I'm at center to center. So to ensure that every time, I always recut that. I put it in there. Don't worry about the rest of it. Just go ahead and recut that taper there. All right, there's our setup. There's our dog with a little extension on it. You notice I mark that jaw right there. Wait a minute. You notice I mark that jaw. That way when I take this thing to make sure everything fits, I can always put it right back where it was. If I need to chase a thread or to cut it just a little bit more, I can always do that and it'll go back to the same spot every time. All right, I'm gonna show you the setup right here. There's a dog, got his all set up. Uh, there's that piece we put on there yesterday. So we got that in there. Every time you put that in there, if you'll take it and uh, go ahead and recut that taper on there, then it's going to, that thing will always be dead center where the machine is, so you don't have to worry about trying to zero it every time. And then we got her in the center down there, got her first cut off of it. Uh, that's what she come out to, 792 right there so we're gonna take it and uh we'll bring that down to 625 and that's when we'll we'll do the rest of it there so kind of knew it all this film and stuff so i hope this turns out okay <laughs> Taking light cuts, I ain't getting about 12,000 off by 25 overall. That's what the uh, DRO set up. Tell you how much you're taking off the old dates. So.
We're gonna check that now. <clears throat> She's about a thousandth under. I'm a 700,000. I wanted to get to 700 and check it and make sure where I had to be on it. Okay, we're at 650 now. Can't hit it. I gotta, I gotta check. I don't want to overcut. I want to make sure what my last cut gonna be on it. She's at 651, so I'm a thousandth over. <clears throat> Well, that's got her turned down. All right, in my machinist handbook, you see 24 threads there. The depth of it is 36 thousandths deep. So what I'll do with this, I'll, cut with, I'll use my DRO and I'm gonna cut a groove in this and I'm gonna get it down probably about 75 thousandths deep and it'll be rounded at the bottom and nice and clean. So that's gonna be our next move. All right, what I'm doing with this, see that level in there? Get that on there and set that right on your tool. Then you get it level and you know you, that your tool right here is in the center of your cut. That's the easy way to set it up. In years past, I've always had to set them up off of the uh, end of the live center. What that also does <clears throat> is make sure that this shoulder here is clean and straight 
So when you, whatever you screw on there, it'll go all the way up against the, uh, the face of your cut right here and it'll be square and tight. You won't have anything holding it off. Cause you really don't want to put something on there and then screw it on there and you look up there and you can see a gap between your part and, and that. So that's what, that's what I do that for. All right, I've got this little old machinist level that I've made one time. Our buddy of mine made this one and uh, it's square. So I put it up against this cut to make sure that it's tied up against it. And then make sure my tooling is square against this edge here. That's how I square this tool up to something that small because these barrels are tapered. So you can't use your, your uh, fishtail on there to get that lined up like you want it. All right, we just touched off right there. So we know our threads is gonna be 72. So we're gonna, I just touched off, so I'm gonna zero out the DRO so I can kind of keep track with how deep we need to be. We're gonna take a little light cut off of it and check it and make sure everything's okay that we're right where we need to be. She looked pretty good. Put a little cutting oil on there. We're gonna make her another pass at it. Thing still looking good.
that was our last cut for now. All right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a file. I'm going to kind of what they call truncate it. I'm going to flatten that top just a little bit. And then we're going to see if our part is screw on there. I should have a couple of thousands to go, but I want to make sure it's smooth. <laughs> And always take some more off, but putting that back on the trick. All right, that's uh, that's exactly why I always stop just a little short. See that thing screwed right on up on there. It's got just a little slack in it, but she screws all the way up. And that's what I'm talking about about making it tight right there with that other cut. Well, all righty, that's what she looked like when we got done with her. Kind of got her blowed up, so if there's any defects in there, you can see it. You can see the little specks of stuff I need to brush off and wipe out of there and get her cleaned up. But other than that, there she goes. Get that where you can see that a little better. See how tight that fits right there. Anyway. All right, so that's that part of that one. We'll see what else we're going to do next. Well, all right, that's the way I go by three in the barrel. I'll be honest, we uh, got lucky on that. It uh, it fit just a tad loose. I mean, not by any means too loose. But uh, I always like to start in and where it'll just start and then go back and take another dry cut at the same setting on it and see how far it goes and move in about a half a thousandth. When I do something like that right there, I want it fitting on there fairly snug, so I don't want it real loose or anything. But anyway, like I said, that now come out good. She's threaded good. The threads are pretty on it. Uh, didn't have any problems with them, and the part screwed on there just fine. Uh, it was cut with a tap. I did not cut them on the lathe, so uh, that's why I like to fit those like that because I want them to fit into that, so uh, that part. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little something from it, and uh, y'all be careful. Stay safe. Go to church on Sunday. See you later.